Suzuki SX4S Cross is designed to rival five-seat family SUV, such as the Skoda Karok and Renault Capture. It's a budget model, competing with some very established and competent rivals, but it holds its own considering the price point. Aside from the name, the new S-Cross shares almost nothing with its predecessor. Now bigger and more grown-up, the family SUV has been restyled to look more modern and more upmarket. To that end, there's some chrome trim and a glossy black grille designed to emphasize the S-Cross's newfound height above the road. The 2022 Suzuki S-Cross measures 4,300mm long, 1,785mm wide, 1,593mm high, and has a wheelbase of 2,600mm. Other touches include, a new full-width rear light cluster, roof rails, and an integrated spoiler, not to mention the black trim, around the bumpers, wheel arches, and side skirts, giving the car some off-road intent. Silver skid plates, under the bumpers, round off the effect. The S-Cross, has a new cabin, that looks much less drab, than that of its predecessor. Chief among the improvements, is a new touchscreen infotainment system, that looks and feels, more modern, than the old Suzuki screens. It isn't perfect, and it still feels old, compared with the systems, in best-selling SUV, such as the Hyundai Tucson, but it's easy to use, and it offers more functionality than before. Build quality, is something of a mixed bag, with some very hard, and unforgiving materials, meeting some quite impressive engineering. The glove box lid, for example, feels quite cheap, but it's soundly manufactured, and you know it's robust enough, to cope with years of use, and abuse. The same goes for some, of the switchgear, which doesn't feel great, at your fingertips, but definitely feels substantial, and durable. At launch, the only engine, available to S-Cross customers, will be the 1.4-litre booster jet petrol unit, with 129 horsepower, and mild hybrid technology. That essentially mean, S the ability to store energy, normally lost under braking, to lighten the engine's load, giving it a boost, when it's under stress, or helping the stop-start system, cut in earlier, all of which helps to save fuel. There's a choice of six-speed manual, and automatic gearboxes, as well as an optional, L4 wheel drive system. Thanks for watching. And give your comments below.